There's been definitely massive focus on the Somalia-Kenya border. And last year in May, we had Kenya's president, William Ruto, and his counterpart in Somalia, and they had talks about reopening the border. Again, we went to, uh, I had to hear from my media reports that uh, this was suspended due to security concerns. What's the true government position on this Kenya-Somalia border and its reopening? I think, first of all, we need to appreciate that Somalia is now a member of the East African community. So we are basically one uh, huge uh, community of, of, of nations within the East African context. And part of uh, even the admission of Somalia into the ESC was basically to allow them to benefit uh, from uh, that unity that uh, the other countries uh, get. Now, with regards to the opening of the borders, uh, one is that Somalia is, a, is an interesting case study, uh, looking at uh, the security challenges that uh, Somalia has faced over the years, uh, particularly with, uh, with terrorism. Uh, and therefore, it means that uh, as a country, we take a lot of interest. But also, remember the, the distance uh, in terms of the length of the border uh, between Somalia and Kenya. You are looking at 800 uh, kilometer stretch. And uh, there have been plans to reopen uh, a number of border points between Kenya and Somalia. Now, that has to be done in a way that uh, we are also still able to keep a handle on the security challenges that, uh, of course, still persist uh, today. As it is, you are aware that there is a drawdown of the AU forces that were in Somalia that were supporting the Somali government to stabilize. Now, with that drawdown, there is a good chance uh, that uh, uh, it will come with um, added challenges around security which we are constantly discussing, we are constantly engaging, and uh, we are looking forward uh, in the next coming months to probably about a year when we'll be able to have uh, these uh, border points uh, fully functional. Uh, the, the reality is that uh, there is movement between Kenya and Somalia, whether it's uh, through the border, the border that we share or through the ports. Uh, there are flights that go to Somalia basically on a daily basis. So there's trade that is happening. But uh, with the need for us to move ahead and uh, reopen uh, the border points that were closed, we will uh, go a long way in, 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 in increasing not just the volume of, uh, of people, but also the volume of trade. And then we're also able to uh, de deal with the illicit trade that. Uh, to an extent uh, is, is this happening on account of us not having uh, a number of the border points uh, fully functional. Mm. Uh, how, how central is technological